Energy announced that a 29-meter-long jack-up vessel will be at work in the near shore area between Red Car and Mask by the Sea from this week to conclude a six-month offshore site investigation by service provider Fugro for Sophia Offshore Wind Farm. The jack-up vessel Haven Sea Riser 2 will be visible to local residents and coast visitors for approximately a month while it carries out a series of bow holes. The boo holes together with earlier surveys will gather data that will feed into the planning of the final design and installation methodology for the main transmission cable where it reaches landfall. As well as the towing vessel, the jackup will be supported by a local guard vessel and a rigid inflatable boat to allow crew changes. The vessel has four legs that will be lowered to the seabed, enabling it to lift up above the water and create a steady platform for each bow hole to be safely carried out. It will be towed between bowhole sites by a towing vessel and is due to leave the area by the end of July. Sophia, the largest project in energy's development portfolio and one of the world's biggest offshore wind farms, will be located on Dogger Bank, in the North Sea. The power generated by the wind farm will travel via a 220-kilometer-long electricity export cable from the offshore converter platform to shore, at its landfall between Red Car and Mask by the Sea. From landfall, onshore cables will transport the power to a new onshore converter station to be built near the village of Lazenby, adjacent to the Wilton complex. Construction is due to start onshore in early 2021. Sophia Offshore Wind Farm is 100% owned by Energy SE.